Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Leek today, Leek Staffordshire, and this is the first video where we're going to follow the route of the old railway from Leek up towards Macclesfield. So we've done the other way to Stoke-on-Trent. Now, where I am now has nothing to do with old railways. Um, the station was where Morrison's is, and I've already made a video there, so I thought it was pointless starting there again. So I thought I'd start in the housing estate. Now, if you look at, there's a sign there, it says Rudyard that way, and it says Leek the other way. Now, if you were going to, oh, hello, there's a cat, look. Hello, you come to be in my video with me? So, um, yeah, we have this cat um, who seems to be quite happy to join me. Um, so, where were we? Um, that is the cycle path which runs along the old railway. But as you can see now, we're not on an old railway at all. But we're going to go and look for it. I'm going to say goodbye to the cat. Goodbye, off you go. Um, that was uh, quite an interesting um, beginning to the video. I did not expect that. So, if you're going to walk along the old railway, it suggests you go that way. But that's probably just assuming you want to get to Rudyard Lake, which, you know, why everyone wants to go to Rudyard Lake. It's such a lovely place. Uh, but we are going to find the mouth of the old tunnel before we start heading towards Rudyard Lake. So we're going to carry on in that direction there. So as we go along, I think it's up here somewhere. We need to find the way into where the tunnel was. No, I don't think it's that way. I think it must be down here. So somewhere behind this housing estate is the old trap bit. And what my plan to do is to get onto the trap bit but then go in the opposite direction old Honda there, in the opposite direction to try and find the old tunnel. Um, I don't think there's going to be a huge amount to see because from the other end is completely inaccessible, the end from nearest to the site of Leak Railway Station, but this end we might be able to see something. So that's the plan for today and then what I'm going to do over the next few days, I'm going to continue walking along the old track bed, making my way up towards Macclesfield, where we don't actually quite go to Macclesfield though, um, the railway line uh, joins the line which runs from near Shugborough up to Manchester, it joins it uh, near Macclesfield. I think the tunnel must be somewhere about there, somehow don't think that's going to get us there. I think possibly if we get down here, if we take a, a, a left up that road there, that might take us onto the trap bed. So what I've effectively done is I've come over the top of the tunnel. It's um, a bit of a kind of one of these videos where I get as I go kind of job, but we will find it. I know we're close by. Um, is it this one? That is looking half promising. Don't think, I think, that's the cutting, but it doesn't look like there's a path. So I think we're close. I think we're very close, but I don't think... Wait, is that a path there? I think we found it, but we're not actually on the track bed. So there is a path here. Let's have a look up here. It's strange. Yeah, that is, that's the track bed then, down there. Um, not quite sure where this path goes. Perhaps after I've made a video, I'll follow it, see where it does go. The tunnel must be down there somewhere doesn't look like there's an easy way down. That's definitely, you can see how the cutting just ends there. So, we found the tunnel. We just need to get down there now. So let's go back this way. That path carries on down there. We'll see if we can go up to the tunnel. So in the meantime, I'll tell you a bit about the history of the railway line north of Leek. Um, it closed in 1964 altogether. It closed to passengers in 1960. And it opened in 1850. I know I've just done the history backwards, but just did for a change. Uh, God, this is an arrow path. Of course, part of the track bed, the most scenic section, alongside Rudyard Lake. Thank you very much. It's been a bad cat, so now we've got dogs. What next? Um, so, along, the section along Rudyard Lake is now the Rudyard Lake Steam Railway, which is, you know, great and uh, that has featured in my miniature railway britain series so what if you have a look the next video will be the miniature railway britain video which has already been published so i'll put a link to that and we have already traveled the full length of the rudyard lake railway and then um, after that i shall go and uh, 
do the stations north from there. So there's Rushton Spence, or I think it's just Rushton now, but we'll get on that when we get there. Um, so there's a few stations up there. I don't think it's as accessible as the line to Stoke was. The line to Stoke's a bit strange because it's not really a public footpath, but all the dog walkers use it, so that was why I used it. We're just coming easily alongside the old railway track now. And I can actually see there's, um, it looks like it's a path, so I'm not sure where it's going to go. So if we'd come the way the cycle path suggested, it'd probably cross the road, brought us onto here. Because if you look now, it says Rudyard. So let's go through here and um, got to go along and back on ourselves. So finally, we're onto the trap bed now. There's been quite a lot of talk of the Churnit Valley Railway extending to Rudyard. Uh, sorry, not to Rudyard. That would be brilliant if they could rebore the tunnel and extend to Rudyard. Great. I meant to leak. Never say never, it might happen one day. Um, that's weird. Let's get on to that in a minute. The Rudyard Lake Railway may one day extend to Leek because they've got all that track from the Isle of Mull Railway and of course there's plenty of room for them to do that. So that could possibly happen. Now I've just noticed, that looks like a platform that I, as far as I'm aware, there never was a railway station here. It almost looks like it could have been like a little Leek North Holt or something. I don't know. So anyone watching this um, who possibly remembers the railway in Leek, can you tell me? Was this ever a halt? If not, what is this bit of brickwork? Because I'm a bit confused. <laughs> right, anyway, so that way goes to Rudyard Lake. We're going this way. We're going to try and find what there is of the tunnel, if indeed anything. So I imagine it's filled in. From what I can see from walking around um, in the park up by the Woodcroft, you can look down. I can't see any masonry of the tunnel. So. Whether, well the masonry must exist but be buried, so the question is, well two things, I'll find one out for myself in a moment, does this path go anywhere or is it going to be a dead end? And two, are we going to find anything of the tunnel? It'd be great to, you know, think we could just go there and the tunnel will be there and I could just walk through it, but I somehow doubt it. Um, whether we're going to find a bricked up tunnel, I'm not sure. I think it's going to be answered very soon because I can already see what appears to be a bit of a dead end. So perhaps it's looking from what I can see, like the tunnel's been completely filled in and there's nothing to see, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so where does this path go? Is this a complete dead end? So when I, we first came to where we could see any form of railway, we were up there at the top of the cutting and it appears as a path that goes over the top of the tunnel. So what I think I'll do, when I get to as far as I can go here, I'll go back that way. I won't record it all because there won't be anything new to show you. If I find anything exciting above there, I'll record a bit more and add that onto the video. If not, then this will be what it is. So it's, it's a bit strange here because it's getting muddier, but we're actually starting to go uphill. So I think about just there, we've left the, uh, trap bed and they've filled it in so I'm sort of getting higher and higher so I've kind of gone from track level so about now I'm probably at the floor of the carriage level if I keep going I'm going to be almost on the roof of the train level and it really does not look like there's anything so it looks like they've filled in the cutting up to where the tunnel was and I and it's getting really muddy as well um, because obviously this is artificial. This isn't natural, this land. It's been dug out and it's been put back. There's a fallen tree, I think, gone as far as I can go without getting really, really muddy. Um, this wasn't meant to be a muddy walk. This was just a, a stroll to try and find the end of the old tunnel. So I'm going to leave it here. I am going to do that path, though, up there just to see where it goes partly out of curiosity and partly if I can find anything of the tunnel. So hope you enjoyed this video. Um, over the next few episodes we shall continue north. Well, the next one will be the other side of the Leek and Rudyard Railway. Leek and Rudyard Railway effectively covers the railway, the section that's reopened as, as a miniature railway. But north of there, I'll do my usual format as I did with Leek Stoke. I'll make a video at each station and I'll make one 
where it joins the main line. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the rest of the series. Looking towards Macclesfield from the old railway leak. Goodbye.